Hello everyone! In this quick tip video I'm going to show you how to avoid obvious texture repetition or tiling when working with large surfaces. This workflow will be used for more organic textures, but in a future tutorial I'm going to cover also how to approach other kind of textures, like obvious repeating brick textures for instance. So I watched this Blender Guru tutorial on how to tile a texture without repetition and I tried to do it in Maya using some Arnold nodes. Not going to do exactly the same as the video from Andrew, but rather go for a basic workflow. From there you can layer some noises to break the texture even more. The setup in Maya consists of a simple plane and an environment light. Let's create a material, attach a grass texture and repeat it a few times. As you can see the tiling is pretty obvious. If we need a texture to cover a large surface we would have too much repetition. So creating a new material, remove the tiling in the place to the texture and attach it to an AI Triplanner node. Just set the scale in the Triplanner to the same amount of the place to the texture and we get the same result as before. Now the trick is in the Enable Cell attribute. If we play with the random rotation and blending, we can now see that the result is much different from the previous one. We can also create a RAM to clearly see what the Enable Cell attributes are doing to the input texture. Basically randomizing the rotation of the tiles and then blending it. But again for this kind of texture is not ideal as we would break the desired tiling like in a brick texture. For that I will create a new video in the future. Just be careful with the blend attribute because it can really blur out your textures, even more noticeable in close-up renders, so it's always a balance. If you want you can layer some noises on top, I recommend you to watch the Andrew Price video from Blender Guru and you will see his own workflow. That's it, let me know if this was useful to you and thank you, see you next time, bye bye.